good morning now we are discussing the production and the detection of plane polarized light in order to produce plane polarized light by making use of nickel prism we have considered the unpolarized light which is monochromatic and that light is made to pass through the nickel prism when this when this unpolarized light is made to pass through the nickel prism it undergo double refraction and the ordinary ray having vibrations perpendicular to the plane of the paper will undergo total internal reflection and the total internal reflection will occur at the canada balsam interface and after total internal reflection the ordinary ray will be absorbed by the outer blackened surfaces of the cylindrical tube whereas the extraordinary ray emerges out of the nickel prism with vibrations parallel to the plane of the bowl or paper now this plane polarized light having vibrations in the plane of the paper is made to pass through another nickel prism in order to detect it in order to detect it then the prism the second nickel prism is rotated about the incident ray as axis and during the rotation if the intensity of the emergent light varies between zero and maximum twice for one complete rotation of the second nickel prism the light is said to be completely plane polarized the first nickel prism that produces plane polarized light is called the polarizer the first nickel prism that produces plane polarized light is called polarizer and the second nickel prism that produces that it, that it detects the intensity of plane polarized light is called the analyzer is called the analyzer now coming to the production and detection of circularly polarized light when the plane polarized light is made to pass through when the plane polarized light we have studied how plane polarized light is produced in the previous slide when ordinary light is made to pass through the nickel prism it undergoes double refraction ordinary ray undergoes total internal reflection and will be eliminated whereas the extraordinary ray will be propagated having vibrations in the plane of the paper and that is said to be the plane polarized light and if that plane polarized light is made to incident on the quarter wave plate normally such is that the vibrations of the incident light make an angle 45 degree with the optic axis then the emergent light is said to be circularly polarized in order to produce circularly polarized light we make use of plane polarized light and that plane polarized light is made to incident normally on the quarter wave plate such that the incident the vibrations of the incident light make an angle 45 degree with the optic axis then we get circularly polarized light in order to detect whether light is circularly polarized or not we pass this circularly polarized light through the quarter wave plate once circularly polarized light is made to pass through the second quarter wave plate we get plane polarized light back and when this plane polarized light is made to pass through a rotating nickel prism the second nickel prism which is rotating and if the intensity varies between zero and maximum twice for one complete rotation of the analyzer then light is said to be circularly polarized light is said to be circularly polarized we have produced as well as we have detected whether it is circularly polarized or not now coming to the production and detection of elliptically polarized light in order to produce 
the elliptically polarized light we again make use of plane polarized light and this plane polarized light is again made to pass through the quarter wave plate with with vibrations with vibrations different from the top 0 45 90 degrees if the vibrations are 0 and 90 degree we get plane polarized light if the vibration makes an angle 45 degree with the optic axis we get circularly polarized light and for all angles other than 0 degree 45 degree 90 degree we get elliptically polarized light the angle made by the incident vibrations to the optic axis should be different from that of 0, 45, 90 in order to get elliptically polarized light. In order to detect elliptically polarized light, in order to detect elliptically polarized light, we again made to pass this elliptically polarized light through a rotating nickel prism. The elliptically polarized light when observed through a rotating nickel prism it shows that the intensity varies between minimum and maximum not zero and maximum this is the case of circularly polarized the elliptically polarized light that we have obtained is made to pass through a rotating nickel prism and if the intensity of light emerging out of the rotating nickel prism varies between minimum and maximum then light is said to be elliptically polarized and this elliptically polarized light is again incident on quarter wave plate normally as in the case of circularly polarized it gets converted back to plane polarized light and when and when this plane polarized light is made to pass through a rotating nickel prism the intensity varies between zero and maximum and this is about the production and detection of elliptically polarized light. Thank you.